Number 249 from Indicator is Win for the Road. Uh, this was a, a movie that I'd never heard of. It just kind of captured my imagination, the synopsis of it. It's a group of men who are attending a drunk driver's seminar course, something they have to do to kind of alleviate uh, their standings within the court. And they are all heavy drinkers. These are people that are all dependent on drink for one reason or another, and they all have serious misgivings within their life. And as they come together, we meet our characters, uh, and we focus on Jimmy, a young man whose father has died. He has kind of delusions of grandeur. He wants to become a businessman. He wants to achieve greatness. He just needs that first step in getting there, which he can do. I am really going places. This is a really optimistic time for me. Experience is the thing. And uh, I've already got some. Uh, along the journey, we meet Paul, who is a dependent drinker who has destroyed his entire world through alcohol. He is estranged from his wife. Um, I don't know if he's a career or not. It's hard to really um, ascertain throughout the movie because he's always talking about business deals, but you're never quite sure whether he's still in good standing there or not. And he kind of manipulates Paul uh, because Paul has an asset. He's a warehouse to sell and there is a rich person in amongst this class as well, uh, Richard, whom they think they could maybe buy and get some money off to kind of kickstart their lives. And, and Listen, Jimmy, do me a favour. Concentrate, Jimmy. Concentrate on yourself, not on the fucking barmaids. Paul, who becomes the crux of the movie, is one of the most deliberately antagonising characters I think I've ever seen on film. He's a horrible person. It's easy to understand watching this why his life has become such a mess that it is. He's manipulative, he's disgusting, he's self-serving uh, and he takes into account nobody's feelings at all. And Jimmy's such a young character who is heading down one path but is looking for any chance to jump off of this and, and take another path. Any opportunity that he can possibly get. When he, these guys are going to the bar every night, he begins to talk to the barmaid. And even though it's just a casual relationship, they're talking to each other, they're getting to know each other. It feels as if it's like a promising turn for Jimmy. But every time he has a promising turn, Paul is there ready to pull him back down to his level. Well, he told me that he's only saying those things to you so that you can get into your... Uh, he's lying to you so he can fuck you. Uh, and Paul became a character that I utterly despised throughout this film. Yeah, a character who had no redeeming facts whatsoever, who was completely toxic and was destroying every situation that they had. Even as the movie ends, you've got a feeling that it, although it ends on a somewhat positive note for some of the characters, it's all about to fall away because of actions of Paul. You did what? It just leapt out of me, the stairs completely fucking took me by surprise. It was a self-defense. But this is a character study, a study of men who have turned to alcohol to solve their issues, which are just confounding them and making them much worse than they actually are. I thought the performances were great. Um, I thought that what they do with the minimum that they have is exceptionally well done. And because it focuses more on the characters, it gives you more of an insight into the movie rather than just following a plot point. It's definitely understanding these people and although it never quite gives them a revelatory moment where they're suddenly going to change their life, which is unrealistic at the best of times, it gives them an opportunity to better themselves if they're willing to take it, which I kind of liked. One for the Road is, is a funny movie at the times. There are certain moments that are just laugh out loud funny. There are certain moments that are kind of shockingly funny as well, particularly when they're on this course and forced to do all these role plays. Um, one of their crew seems almost simple-minded in his inability to focus on anything other than things that are just going to be fun or, or stopping other people from being productive, which was a, a kind of fun character to have around. What about some uh, bucket bombs? Well, it's just that you look stressed, Dave. I thought it might relax you. Come on, then. 
Uh, One for the Road is, is funny, it's engaging, it's full of characters that I both sympathised with, uh, hated their choices, uh, liked it at moments, uh, and hoped that they would better themselves, which is a good insight into the movie. One for the Road, definitely worth checking out. It's an interesting movie, not one you would really rush back to many times to check out, but this is a packed disc as well. I won't go through all the extras because they are way too many on this, which I'm going to delve into and check some of the, 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 the new documentary, at least, on the making of the movie uh, and how it went about what it was doing. Well worth checking out. I would love to know your thoughts on this one. There doesn't seem to be many people that have really seen it. So if you've seen it, please drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. I'd be interested to read that. Uh, like this video if you love Indicator releases. Uh, there's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And in the description box is a uh, links to uh, my Patreon and my membership program where you can join the channel for as little as 99p a month, get extra content and really support me on the way as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.